Hi, this is Freddie from Binsmith, bringing you another new feature in Revit 2025. So there's a new way to be able to handle wall wrapping in Revit 2025. So if you select the wall that ends on a wrap like this condition here, you do have a new icon to be able to disallow and wrapping or allow it back on. One thing to note is you do have to have wrapping allowed here in the property box. So if you have none and you select that same wall, you can see the icon is gone there. Um, but if I turn it back on, you'll be able to see it's there. So it's definitely a quicker way to be able to handle that. I really like the way that works out. It's kind of like the join here at the side, um, but I'm definitely going to be using that one. Give it a try.